What's up guys, Marcus here, and today I'm here to talk about Spider-Man Far From Home. Thwip! Thwip! Now if Spider-Man Homecoming was like a mid-80s teen comedy, Spider-Man Far, Spider Far From Home is more like a late 90s, meaning it's all about the romance! And after the heaviness of Avengers Endgame, it's nice to have a fun summer movie that literally takes place in the summer. So here are five things, in no particular order, that I liked about Spider-Man Far From Home. Number one, Mysterio. Mysterio starts off as a big brother figure to Peter. Now we all know that the twist is coming, but once he says, see that wasn't so hard? <laughs> He goes full ham and it is glorious. He goes so big, he makes the First Order look understated. Number two, Peter and MJ's romance. These two are cute, I admit it. There's something adorable watching these two like each other, not knowing that the feeling's mutual. Whenever these two are on screen together, the audience in my theater went, aww. Number three, Legacy. Part of this film is about Spider-Man taking on Iron Man's mantle of the face of the MCU. There is a meta vibe to this because pre-MCU, Spider-Man was the face of all of Marvel. Now with Spider-Man being the face of Marvel and the face of the MCU, we kind of reached this equilibrium. It's like everything's become Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Number four, the action. Like most sequels in the MCU, the action in this film is far more confident compared to the first. From Mysterio's mind screw, to Spidey fighting the drones. To the Peter Tingle climax. The sequences actually remind me a lot of the ones from Spider-Man PS4. I mean, I can't be the only one who caught that selfie shout out, right? And finally, number five, the stinker. So Spider-Man beats the bad guy and gets the girl and his whole world comes crashing down during the end credits with help from J.K. Simmons. What a shocker this was. I don't know what's gonna happen in the sequel, but Peter's senior year is gonna be worse than mine was. So what about you? What are five things that you liked about Spider-Man Far From Home? What are five things that you did not like about Spider-Man Far From Home? Let me know in the comments. And thank you all for watching me review the entire Infinity Saga. This was my very first big project. I plan to review the rest of the Marvel films as they come out, so. Get ready for those. So, <laughs> till next time, stay frosty.